What is up guys and welcome back to another TBC Classic Gold Farming video. So over the last week I've been power leveling my rogue all the way to level 70 to be able to try out some stealth farms. So that's what we're doing today, we are trying out mana tombs, the stealth version or stealth farm of it. I've also been leveling or skilling up herbalism and mining on this rogue as well because for stealth farms you need to have those professions. You technically don't really need herbalism because well in mana tombs I skip all of the herbs anyway, but you definitely need mining for this one because all of your gold will come from mining. So you can see my gold per hour right now is sitting at 240, but I'm also getting locked out after this run right here, and I've been inside for 16 minutes. So I'm going to take a little bit more time during this run right here, because I want to show you guys everything you can do to make as much gold as possible. But simply running through the dungeon, you will make about 250 gold per hour, but you will also get locked out super fast. So, there's a couple of things you want to look out for. There's a couple of chests inside each dungeon, and before I talk about the chests, I want to talk about the spec. So the spec that I'm using myself is a power spec, or a speed spec, to be able to go through the dungeons super fast. So if I just move this one around right here, you can see my spec right here. So I've gone for the speed spec, which basically gives me more speed inside stealth, and I also have less cooldown on vanish and blind, and I also have preparation to instantly uh, finish the cooldown on both evasion, sprint, vanish, and everything else. So with this one right here, you basically get two sprints before you have to activate the cooldown. The more sprints you have, the faster you run through the dungeon, and the more gold you will make simply by doing mining. The one downside of this spec right here, I can show you my assassination as well, or my combat side. So you lose out on this one, and you also lose out on all of the points you want to have in assassination, but you're going through the dungeon super fast. So you are a lot less, you're doing a lot less damage, but basically this spec right here is the passive spec, as I like to call it, where you basically just hunt for mining veins inside the dungeon, and you skip the treasure hunting for those chests. Now if you want to open chests, I would recommend a deep combat spec, so basically the exact same combat spec that I'm using, including the surprise attack uh, talent right there, then go into assass assassination, go for malice, go for some extra stuff, get yourself to lethality, and that's basically the entire spec you need, so definitely get both malice and lethality, and also just go for some extra stuff as well inside here, maybe remorseless attacks if you want that one, Basically, just Google the best spec possible for assassination, like the raiding spec and stuff like that, to deal the most damage possible if you want to go for the chests. And I'll show you why right now as we move through the dungeon. So the gold per hour has been going down now because I have been talking a bit, but it's important to know that there's two different specs based on how you want to do the dungeon. So the way I'm doing it myself, I get locked out super fast but I just use it as a quick daily login to farm some gold. So for example, this pack right here, you have a chest. Usually I would skip this one no matter what, but if you have the perfect, uh, the other spec, the one that I don't have, you can basically sap one of these, then kill the other two by using Blade Flurry, popping every single cooldown and killing off the other two, and then just finishing off the last mob afterwards. So when there's a pack of three, that is when you need to have that high damage output spec. So if you have, if you want to go for chests and it's locked behind three mobs like this, you need to have the high damage spec or absolute insane gear. But even with my gear right here, if you have the right spec, you can take out these three and open this chest. So simply sap one of them. I usually sap the dark casters because they deal a ton of damage. You have to either sap them, or you will have to use cloak every single time they do their damage over time on you, because that damage over time will kill you, so be aware of that one. There is a chest you can get no matter your spec, which I'll show you as well. I actually managed to open it myself, I have some super mana potions and a green item, but I'm just going to keep running through the dungeon right now because there's nothing really interesting going on. I'm just skipping all of the herbalism nodes, I'm only hunting for mining veins, because those are the ones that give me the most gold. I opened one ancient lichen, lichen, whatever, and they are selling for 17 silver on my realm, so definitely not worth grabbing. It could be worth it for the primal life, but I just don't grab them. If you want to grab them, that's, that's fine, that's more gold, but it will also take you a little bit more time. So these next two rooms right here is when you will 
most likely get all of your mining veins inside because well they can spawn on every single side of this room so all the way up there it can spawn one in the back which is a free mining vein over here as well it can spawn one and when it comes to them the chest that you can open regardless of your spec it's going to spawn right here inside inside every single mana team's run you will have two chest spawns one of them could be right here it's not right now but it could be and here there's only two mobs guarding it so just sap the dark caster right there sap that one pop all of your cooldowns on the sorcerer sit down eat get full health then kill the dark caster and then just open the chest super simple so you can see right now we're just going to go through everything go all the way through these mobs right here and here we have the next mining vein this is a kind of awkward one but you want to try to obtain it if possible so this one is going to be easier as a rogue than a druid because well if you fail you have the option to just vanish it should be available though to get it you just have to time the patrols correctly you have to get this one away to not look at you basically which is once again where being a rogue is good because you can just use a distraction to make him face all the way over there so wait for him to patrol all the way to that side then distract him and like right now I just tried to distract him and I just couldn't get it I used both of my vanishes I used a vanish and a preparation so in this case you just move on you just sprint through these guys and you go to the last room the last room is where you basically you have a 50 50 of getting a mining vein depending on where it spawns actually it's a 33 percent chance that you don't get it and 70 percent chance or 66 percent chance that you do get it so over here there's three different spawns one of them is right here this one is super simple to grab just let the mobs patrol away grab the mining vein then move on you also have the one all the way up here which is once again super simple you just go and grab it the only thing you have to be on the lookout for is the patrol of this guy right there so keep that in mind just don't get aggro of him so in this case i'm just going to grab two of them actually that's the last hit as well now the last place where it can spawn is all the way over here if it spawns all the way over here you, you're simply just going to leave it you could maybe pixel perfect it to be able to grab it but in my experience i just leave this one if it ever spawns because even if i use distract on these mobs right here the spellbinder or the third gist is going to pull so it's not worth it either way so that is basically it for the farm guys it's a very good way of making some gold super fast you do get locked out though fairly quickly and I'm able to do 5 runs in less than 20 minutes. It's been 23 now because I just wanted to show you guys the entire run. Show you where the possible spawns are. And basically there's two different specs. If you just want to do this fast like knock out 5 resets only for the mining veins. Then the spec that I'm using myself makes you move super fast throughout the dungeon. So use camouflage, use all the way down to preparation to be able to have 2 sprints. And that way you can bang out 5 resets in less than 17 minutes but if you want to spend a little bit more time in here and open every single chest as well i would definitely recommend a deep combat spec all the way down to surprise attacks and then go for malice and lethality as well lethality lethality same thing so just go for the best in slot most damage output spec if you want to go for those chests you can actually grab every single chest inside the dungeon as long as you have the right spec it is no like you don't need any gear whatsoever but obviously having gear helps but the less gear you have just make sure you bring food and also bring some bandages if you have uh, first aid as well i don't have first aid so it's definitely doable without first aid but the more stuff you have to help you the more easy it will be so that is an incredible gold farm for rogues only though i guess druids can do this as well except for the chests part i guess if you're guardian you can do the chests as well but I would say it's mostly a rogue farm. The way I'm doing it though can be done by a druid. You just have to be a little bit more careful where you're stealthing and stuff like that. But it's a rogue and druid farm. Mining farm, no competition. And right now when I'm farming in the open world I notice a lot of competition. So having these gold farms like this one where you have literally no competition feels absolutely great. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did leave a like on it down below. Leave a comment as well about how, how much gold per hour you can make from this if you're trying it out. Or if there's an, any specific farm you want me to try out and make a video about. Let me know in the comments, subscribe for more TBC content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again very soon.